Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Braytone and today's video I'm going to be showcasing to you guys how to make games run better on the RPC S3 emulator. But before we get started this video, please make sure guys you like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, how to make games run better on the RPC S3 emulator. Now this 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 is a easy and hard question to basically answer at the same time due to the fact that um to make games run better you need to it's pretty much um easy depending on what game it is now let's say example it's something that's not too graphically powerful let's say playstation all-stars that's that's the first thing i can think in top of my head um that game's not too it's not too hard to run on the RPC S3 emulator compared to something like Metal Gear Solid 4 and The Last of Us. Now those games, they need specific settings to basically work. And at this time, as I'm recording this video, they're not even 100% playable. Uh, I believe The Last of Us can barely um, keep up with 30 frames per second at it, as, as it already is due to the fact on how the PS3 emulator, not the PS3 emulator, um, how the PlayStation 3 I was so um, hard to emulate because the game, because uh, the system is so graphically powerful, and you need like, there's a, there's a lot of things that have to do with coding and engineering um, terms as to why it's so um, complex how these games usually are. But if you guys need um, certain settings to run the games better, it's pretty simple and easy. Um, go to the configuration settings, and then most games should run. Um, pretty well with um, default settings, which if your settings are not an LLVM um, for the PPU decoder and the SPU decoder, they should be on. Um, SPU, SPU cache is something that helps with sh um, shader cache, I believe. That should be also on. Enable loop detection should be also on due to the fact that it helps with lower end PCs. Um, if you have a different core like i3 or lower end i5, uh, this they're not too effective with i7 because that's the highest I believe right now. i7, I think there's something like an i8, but I don't, I don't know too much people, too many people are using that as, as as I know. And then also lower SPU thread uh, property priority, and then SPU block size. I think on default is usually on, on safe, but in certain games they need on um, mega, and then SPU threads also needs to be around two or three if it's not on auto, and then TX TSX instructions usually is with on the the side of helping games run better if they're um, lagging. Or they're crashing a lot so that's why the txx instructions is there for if you guys are not sprinting too much of crashing or lagging you guys don't need to worry about the txx instructions but mostly um games like the last of us and Metal Gear solid you need to use um txx instructions due to the fact obviously those games are pretty slow um when they're not on certain settings and they crash a lot when they're in certain um setting sectors in the gameplay so it's very important to have TSX instructions. GPU settings, always use Vulkan. It's very important to use Vulkan when using the RPC S3 emulator. Um, the video, um, always use your graphics card. In my case, I'm using my NVIDIA G47. And that's basically about it. You guys need to worry about the um, CPU and GPU settings. Advanced tabs are basically for the more complex games. So you need to enable certain things. Uh, but most games on the RPC S3 emulator, you don't need to worry about the advanced tab. You only need to worry about the CPU and GPU um, tab to make games run better. So after you do that, you just basically save. And then also, as you guys may know, if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, you know what I'm going to say. Always go to the NVIDIA control panel because it helps. It helps at the, at the end of the day. It always helps. And then when you're on the video um, control panel, try to set everything to your graphics card as much as possible. Like right here, you're going to choose performance and then you apply to that.
Manage 3D settings. Or use your Nvidia um, processor. Most things in default should be good. If not, you can change things like they have settings for VSync, resolution, stuff like that. It's things that you see in emulation, shader cache, um, triple buffing. Basically, um, configuration settings you see in emulation in general. And then here, obviously, you're going to use your Nvidia um, graphics card here. Default settings are good. They have something like VSync, triple buffing again. Similar to the um, global settings, and we here is add it. RPCS3. We should apply it. And that's basically it. That's how you basically get games run better on the RPCS3 emulator. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Hey, yeah, guys, this is your boy Bird. So, when I see you guys in the next video, peace out.